Now for the next installment on working with systems of equations. We are going to now use elimination using addition and subtraction. So take just a moment and pause the video, read the content standards, the Common Core State Standards, and the mathematical practice we're going to look for and make use of structure. When you've had a chance to look that over, then you can restart the video. So last time you solved system equations by using substitution and today we're going to solve systems of equations by using elimination with addition and we're going to solve systems of equations by using elimination with subtraction. Our vo new vocabulary word is elimination. Our key concept with this lesson is the first step we're going to use when solving by elimination is we're going to write the system so like terms with the same or opposite coefficients are aligned then we're going to either add or subtract the equation so that we can eliminate one of the variables and then we'll solve the equation then we'll substitute the value from step two into either one of the equations and solve for the other variable our solution will be written as an ordered pair again so let's see what all this means Looking at an example, we're going to use elimination to solve the system of equations that's listed. Notice that one of them, the variable with the, the x, is negative 3x in one equation and a positive 3x in the other one. That's going to make it easy to eliminate the x because the, the coefficients for the x terms are negative 3 and 3. They are additive inverses. So if we line them up like a column, so we'd rewrite the equation. Notice that the x variable is eliminated. So 4y minus 6y is negative 2y and 12 plus 18 is 30. So then what do we do next? You're right, we're going to divide both sides by negative 2. So in this instance, y is equal to negative 15. Now we're going to take this negative 15 and substitute it in for y in one of the equations. Doesn't matter which equation. In this instance, we're going to choose the first. We're going to substitute negative 15 in for y. Simplify. 4 times negative 15 is negative 60. Now we're needing to isolate the x, so we're going to add 60 to both sides. Good job. That leaves us with negative 3x is equal to 72. Finally, we will, of course, divide both sides by negative 3. So x is equal to a negative 24. So our solution set, x is negative 24, y is equal to negative 15. Our ordered pair, negative 24, negative 15. Now it's time for me to show you what you to show me what you know. I check your progress. So pause the video, read the problem, come up with your solution, check your answer, and then you can restart the video to find that you're correct or not. Awesome. Our solution is 2, 1. So which one did you eliminate first? Yes, we eliminated the Y. Good job. Okay, now we're going to write and solve a set of system of equations. What's really important here is to look to see what kind of patterns that will help you decide how you're going to set up your equations. So we have 4 times one number minus 3 times another number. So here I can see an x and a y, can't you? 4 times one number, so 4x, minus 3 times the other number, 3y, is... What do we put there for is? Let's write an equal sign is equal to 12. Then we have 2 times the first number. Well, the first number we used was x. Added to 3 times the second number is 6. Find the numbers. So we have 4x minus 3y is 12. That's what we discussed on the first one. Now we're going to have... 2x plus 3y is 6. If you need to stop this for a moment and reread the problem and see why we chose what we did, please feel free to do so. We're going to use elimination to solve the system. 
So we're going to write them in columns. We're going to line them up on top of each other. Then notice the coefficients with the y. One's a positive, one's a negative. So we're adding the numbers together. 4x plus 2x is 6x. 12 plus 6 is 18. How are we going to solve for x? You're right. We're going to divide both sides by 6. x is 3. Now we're going to substitute this 3 in for an x in either of the equations. It doesn't matter which one you choose. In this instance, we're choosing the first equation, substituting the 3 in for x that we found in the first step. Now we have 12 minus 3y is equal to 12. Subtract 12 from both sides. Negative 3y is equal to 0. What do we do next? Good job. Divide both sides by negative 3. So y is equal to 0. So the numbers we ended up with are 3 and 0. Time to check your progress. So pause the video, please. Read the problem. Find your solution. And then turn the video back on so that you can find out that you're correct. You guys are getting good at this. Negative 3, 2 are our numbers. Good job. Okay, we've got something a little different here. Notice that we don't have a positive 4x and a negative 4x. Both of these are positive. So what are we going to do to solve? Well, we, we uh, eliminated by addition before, so how about we subtract this, this second equation from the first equation? It's a little trickier, because you have to remember to carry this negative across each of these numbers. So if it would help you, you could rewrite this equation by changing the sign in every one. So we've got 4x minus 4x. Whoops, I had a little boo-boo there. 4x minus 4x. 2y minus a negative 3y gives us a positive 5y. 28 minus 18 is 10. Now we're going to divide both sides by 5. So y is equal to 2. So now we're going to substitute a 2 in for y in either equation. It doesn't matter which one we choose so that we can solve for x. Here they're choosing the second equation. So in place of y, we're choosing 2. 4x minus 6 is equal to 18. We're going to add 6 to both sides. That leaves us with 4x is equal to 24. Of course, we're going to divide both sides by 4 so that x is equal to 6. So our solution is 6, 2. Time for you to check your progress. So this one's a little tricky. We notice these each have a negative 2y, so we're going to have to use subtraction. So pause the video, work the problem, choose your solution, and then turn it back on to find that you're correct. Excellent. Our solution is 2, negative 6. Now we're going to write and solve a system of equations. So we've got a little word problem going on here. It's a real world example. So I want you to pause just for a moment and read the problem. Okay, good. We see some kind of uh, pattern going on here. We've got 36 days for ladders, 85 days for power tools. And again, we've got ladders and power tools. We're given the dollar amounts. So we can work with that. We've been given enough information. They want us to find out how much does the store charge per day for ladders and for power tools. So we know the number of days and ladders, the number of days the ladders and power tools were rented and the total cost for each. Our plan is to let X equal the cost per day for ladders rented and Y is going to be the cost per day for power tools rented. So first of all, we were told that 36 ladders and 85 power tools earned $956.50. 
and then 36 for the ladders, 70 for the power tools, uh, yielded $829. So we're going to have to subtract these equations to eliminate because both of these are positive 36's coefficients with the x. We're going to line them up. So 36x minus 36x, we're going to eliminate the x. 85y minus 70y and 956.50 minus 829. Leaves us with 15y is equal to 127.50. Divide both sides by 15. y is equal to 8.5. Now we can substitute 8.5 into either of the equations we choose. We're choosing the first equation. So in place of y, we're going to substitute the 8.5. Simplify. Subtract 7250 from both sides. Divide both sides by 36, so x is equal to 6.5. This tells us the, the store charges $6.50 per day for a ladder and $8.50 per day for power tools. Now we can substitute both values into the other equation to see if the equation holds true. If x is equal to 6.5, and y is equal to 8.5, then we can substitute in and we should get the 829. So time for you to check your progress. Pause the video, read the problem, uh, work it, choose your solution. Excellent. Marcus earned, uh, he raised $21 per mile and Anissa $22.50 raised uh, per mile for the walkathon. Good job. You've made it through this video. Time for you to practice now.